We now officially live in a post Dragon Age of the Veilguard world. Yes, in fact, it released and well, it ended up doing reasonably well. Okay, a little bit better than expected, potentially, or something like that, because we got the Steam charts that are right up there, and at least at time of recording, 59,000 concurrent players. And yeah, earlier today, well, 49,000, so it ended up dropping 10,000 since the time that I brought up the stream, or I'm sorry, brought up the page and started recording. And, uh, not great, not great, because earlier today was, yeah, when it ended up hitting its peak at just over 70,000. It'll be interesting to see what happens over the weekend now that everybody has got the cringe out of their systems or they were sufficiently propagandized by mainstream journalists that checked out the game, experienced that abysmal prologue, bro. Like, we can go ahead and we'll talk, and we definitely will about the woker elements of this, but bro, the writing and the acting are a Abysmal. That prologue, that absolutely devoid of gameplay, high on narcissistic writing prologue, I want to pull my hair out. And the fact of the matter that this game is at least the most popular woke pile of garbage that we've seen this year the fact that there's a good case that the games journalists are going to astroturf this to win a bunch of game awards at the end of the year from several publications it makes me sick to my stomach i want to do a scene to scene comparison especially if this thing starts to pick up any traction and it doesn't die over the weekend which very much looks to be the case because outside of well earlier today i was watching well i was watching as heel versus babyface spend about two hours in the uh character customization screen and create some absolutely horrific looking thing and that's about the high watermark when it comes to this and before i could record this i was watching a bit of mauler stream it and well the most fun is had in the character creation screen instead of calling this dragon age the veil guard it should be dragon age the people of walmart because holy christ and it's not even just the people not just the people that are i use the term people very loosely that you create in the character creation screen but bro everybody in there is a disaster it is the ugliest dumbest game that i have seen in a very long time and the fact that this got eights nines and perfect 10 scores that is purely done for ideological reasons because the combat bro it is aids and it's only outshone by how many times i heard ritual 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 proper noun proper noun for place proper noun for person a ritual ritual ceremony gorgolath agamemnon the gilgalath and it's all delivered by some of the least talented voice actors that i have heard in a very very long time just to simply compare and contrast that prologue with the nibelheim flashback from final fantasy 7 rebirth like i said if this game gets any amount of astroturfed praise, I'm going to have to do a comparison between those two because it is shocking. It is shocking how little you actually get to engage with the mechanics of this horrific game in the first hour that you get to play outside of the you know, character creation because yeah you get to do a little bit of combat and some goofy ass problem solving to get into a library and that's about it and then just have a couple of uh, cringy dialogue exchanges where you go and explain your backstory to somebody who knows it already like as you know harding you were recently in a very d dangerous battle are you okay to go oh my head hurts a little bit Rook, but I am a strong Nev Harding. Is it Nev Harding? I can't remember. That little dwarf girl with, you know, all of the freckles. He's actually, like, outside of the, uh, the one competent male dwarf who has to heap praise on the main character. And she's probably the best actress, and yeah, the incapacitated dwarf. He's probably the most interesting character that we've seen before, so of course, he gets sidelined for a bunch of women one that may or may not have a peg leg in his voice by one of the most deadpan actresses that i have heard in a, a mainstream game in at least 10 years only overshadowed by one of the most uh, plucky throwbacks that reminded me of one of the early game companions from mass effect andromeda i was getting i was getting war flashbacks when i was listening to as play that game and holy christ bro every aspect of this game it is so bad and that's why i think that's why i think that this game was doing i guess a little bit better than expected but still if it's going to have a massive drop off and it's not going to reach that seventy thousand peak i don't know if it will or not but there could still be some people that are out there checking out the cringe or maybe they're just going to go ahead and stick with a streamer of their choice to just go ahead and experience the rest of this because boy you get hit with a shotgun full of cringe off rip but according to a or eaco or ceo andrew wilson a dragon age of elgard has breakout potential yeah i don't really see that i could see it dying a pathetic death over the weekend but we don't know right now just the way that it's trending not good 
not good because it re it released uh, at least in my neck of the woods at what like nine ten o'clock in the morning and then that's yeah that's about when it peaked and then it just started to taper off and as you can see yeah throughout the day it hasn't recovered at all whatsoever even as people were getting home and i guess i guess of course the better test is going to be you know friday and saturday that'll let everybody know but I d there is yeah there's not a lot to go on but while i was getting flashbacks seeing and listening to the first part of this game and you could also get some flashbacks hearing those remarks from andrew wilson yeah similar remarks were also said about star wars outlaws by yes ubisoft ceo uh, not good andrew wilson ceo of ea and the parent company of bioware yes claimed that neve yeah i forget her last name and yeah Ballara. oh my god she is so awful I haven't seen anybody so far get tash or darvin yet but Ballara, that is the Oh my god, you're like totally here in my world and it's very crazy because we have like the veil bubble that's around us and if we get to the, like the nexus, we should be able to drop it. Don't try to force your way through it because that could be like really dangerous to get to that much raw magic. Like, oh my god. But I wanted to die first in my phone listening to that shit. It was so bad. But the company's uh, quarter two 2025 earnings conference call, Wils yeah, Wilson shared his optimism that the game will perform well. Yes, he said it's an amazing time at EA and in two days, uh, we will will launch Dragon Age the Veil Guard. It's been 10 years since we launched its predecessor game of the year uh, winner, Dragon Age Inquisition, which is why, you know, that prologue is just so abominable because, yeah, sure, there were going to be some people that were going to hop on. And frankly, when it comes to floompy proper names of different places, different magics, different concepts in a game, I'm a little bit more forgiving when it comes to that because if it's established in the lore, no, that's totally fine, okay? And you're making reference to that, that's great. But you're immediately greeted, okay, here's the big bad he's doing something for some reason and oh, okay cool uh, there's an attack on a city that isn't really all that dangerous and you're not really in that big of a hurry because it's basically a big action set piece that you're supposed to be fully engaged in but when you take a second to just simply look around and realize that there's no real danger here at all whatsoever and why is everybody overly introducing themselves and constantly referring to one another with their full proper names it's um it's it's a lot it's a lot we expect Dragon Age to be a great example of how our blockbuster storytelling engages and connects with fans in truly unique ways. Yeah, it's it's going to be one of those games where I'm going to be paying attention to it over the weekend so I can report back to you guys as to what I've experienced because so far it's, oh my god, it's a spe- it is, it's really special. And as I'm thinking, the more you get all of these companions, because the thing that I can draw on is, of course, my experience with the Mass Effect Andromeda that said it before, and I'll be brief this time around. It made me quit games for a long time because, holy shit, I love Mass Effect. I love the trilogy. And then that the, that pile of shit came out and all of the characters sucked a massive pile of shit. None of them were even close to being as engaging as Jacob or whatever Freddie Prince Jr.'s name was from 3. Like, all of them suck. I only remember Overly Preppy, Great Value Liara, and the Cat Cretin with a lisp. Didn't you have a female Krogan or something like that? Like, oh my god. Bioware doesn't write a Garrus anymore. They're never going to give you anybody close to being as complex as Thane or have legit family drama like Tali. No, nah, man. You're just going to get people bitching, moaning, whining, and complaining about misgendering. I wish I was making that up because the worst, at least what we've seen so far, the worst scene that is out there. And I think, I, I'm kind of thinking that it's going to get worse from here because you don't, you don't see the full party. And so as the weekend goes on, yeah, I could see there actually being something worse than this, but as Grums has his caption before we watch it. The worst scene in Dragon Age Veilguard just dropped. You can never apologize enough, and you have to do it in just the right way. Dragon Age lectures. Dragon Age Veilguard lectures you on the right way to apologize for misgendering someone and to be fair there's going to be a lot of that misgendering that happens in this game mostly because if you take a look at a lot of the, at the a lot of the main characters that people are creating i wouldn't even know where the hell to begin but yes it is as cringe long and painfully drawn out as you would imagine probably as everything else and you'll get a good taste of the voice acting this time around and there's the uh, she, uh, balara i think like it almost slipped my mind here she's so bad i guess that would be the main character oh that's the one that yeah, there's one that actually looks like a real person and not like a joker or i don't know somebody coming out of dragon age of the burn ward what as created I, I don't even know where to begin to describe that a canary easter island head with a borked nose pounding that snake's nose she's still holding the ruby in her other hand maker's panties i was so proud oh uh, um 
Ah, shit. They, they're still holding it. Sorry. Oh, as you could tell just by that, okay. I don't know, is, is that Nev or something like that? Okay. Is that voice acting, bro? Like, it's universal in this game, but it's just so wooden. It's like, you have how much money? I, we're not entirely sure what the budget of this is supposed to be, but it's somewhere in the realm of, I've seen, between 80 and 150 million. Can't verify that, but just simply throwing that out there. And given the fact that this game has been, been in development for so long, I would not be shocked at all if it's in the nine-digit club. What are you doing? Pulling a barve. Oh. Okay. A barve? Tradition in the Lords of Fortune, from one of our old members, Barve. Good guy, but like most of us, his plans went sideways a lot. Bad blood among your cr- Why the fuck are you doing push-ups, you idiot? Oh my god, like a barve? What are we doing now? Crew's not good for morale, but there's not always time for big, drawn-out apologies. So, when one of us screws up and we know we've screwed up, we do a quick ten to put it right. Pulling a- no, we just overly exposit what the fuck we're supposed to do. Holy shit, bro. This has only been... Well, 40 seconds! Holy... Oh my god. I'm I'm really glad I didn't buy this. Above. Oh, there we go. Oh no, this is a different character. Isabella? Oh, she just is bad. I'm glad the Lords of Fortune have Tarsh's back. Oh, Tarsh isn't the first non-binary member of the Lords. Really? What? It was a little before your time, but Horlicks was one of ours. Huh. Bastard looked better than I did in a dress. And something else that you're going to notice about this game is just the weird way that their mouths just flap. Occasionally, some of the lip articulation looks vaguely close to the words that they're trying to get out of there. But holy shit, man. How many times you just see dislodged jaws when they're just having a regular line of dialogue delivery? It's, um... It's real bad, and this is gonna win a bunch of awards. Cool so pants. Die. And out of them too. Hmm. Yo, and don't even get started on the choices, bro. They're all they're all so bad. Any reason you can't just apologize? Sometimes people say, oops, sorry, and hope that fixes it. But they just want to get the whole thing over with. You know, the entire premise and the plot behind this game is the fucking world is ending and we're talking about misgendering how to properly apologize. Trust me, I know. But pulling a barve, you sweat a little. Makes you think about it a little more. Shows the other person you mean it. Oh my god. What if they mean it when they say that? Yeah, sorry, like, why? And that's the other reason. Some people mess up and get all dramatic. Yo, look at that. They make it Bro, what the head. fuck? Yo, what What even was that? Was she communicating with her mind? Because those lips weren't moving at all. We got to run that back, okay? You don't have to listen to it, but just watch this. Like, what the and fuck? And that's the other reason. Some people like, mess like, up and get You got to tell, okay? Every once in a while, you say some things. Oh, you know, I didn't mean it right. I'd never do that on purpose. Oh, she does the up for... Oh, oh this game, man. This is... Oof. He feels so bad about it that it's on everyone else to smooth it over and make them feel better. Oh, oh, okay, yes, some people might do that. Yo, man, like, this is, this is so bad. This is so bad. Pulling a barve puts it on the person who screwed up. They made the mess, they fix it, done. Holy How shit. We talking pronouns. We talking pronouns and misgendering at the end of the world. That was two minutes. Felt like two hours, but perhaps we're not gonna get that additional cringe because apparently EA is out here already taken down cringe compilations. Absolutely wild what's going on. This is going to be a fun one to pay attention to over the weekend. And yeah, in between the uh, increasingly fervent election coverage, I'm gonna make sure to keep an eye on this one, mostly because, well, it's it's just so goddamn bad. So with all that said, thank you all very much for the gift of your time. I've been Don Consuelo. I want you to follow your gut and get after it. Take care, everyone.